Good afternoon and welcome to the Holland County November 10th board meeting. Uh, we we'll welcome all of our guests and uh, any elected officials in the room. Thank you all for being here. Uh, remind you to turn off uh, cell phones, next tells, and pagers. Marshall will bring the sign in sheet. Today we had uh, for our invocation and pledge Pastor Johnny McBurroughs and he's not in attendance today, we don't know why, uh, but I'm asking his place if Tom Blanton uh, would come and do our invocation and then the presentation of colors and our pledge will be presented uh, by South Holland Junior ROTC. Would you stand with me if you're able? Maybe great. Heavenly Father, we come to you as free people who are part of a great country that's struggling with itself. We're struggling with each other locally, statewide, and nationwide. We're in a world of chaos, but we know that you are in control ultimately. And we ask you to provide us and our leadership in this county with the tolerance that we need, the mental capacity that we need, and the spiritual commitment that we need to be able to better respond to one simple fact, that you are the source of higher power in our lives. It's in your name that we ask it, and for our sakes, as well as yours, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Salute. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Carry. Colors. Right. Face. Forward. March.
if you have interest on working on the Richland Creek Reservoir uh, in any capacity, if you'll please come to that vendor meeting, uh, I think that'll be a great day for Paul. Uh, Ms. Robbins is in our uh, audience today, and she's asked me to announce that East Paul, and this is the final week of East Paul and Junior ROTC raffle uh, to win, and I refer to these as a small Winnie Bago, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, did I say that correctly? And uh, Ms. Rollins, did they see you to buy a ticket? Or? Yes, myself or Mr. Hayden. Okay, that's wonderful. So uh, I think that's a very worthwhile cause, and uh, it goes towards uh, East Pauling Junior ROTC. Is this for an event or just for uniforms? It, it, it's, for, it's for the general fund, you know, to you know, support um, their community service efforts, um, whatever, the drill meetings that they do, um, anything and everything. Unfortunately, Air Force has cut the funds significantly, so it's we rely on our the generosity of our community members to provide us with the mini winning, which they did totally free of charge. So 100% of the proceeds from the raffle sales goes back to the program. Okay, if you want to have a travel trend or a, a mini winning. It's a micro mini winning baker. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still not to be long and they have crammed it. I mean, you've got a clean size bed, you know, the table converted. So you're saying I can fit it? You can do it. So it's not too many. No, it's not too many. <laughs> All right, if y'all will see her, uh, if you're ready to do a little traveling, you need a mini mini. Uh, we have no invited guests. Uh, a bit of work. Action to approve Microsoft Enterprise agreement for software purchase in the amount of $442,635.51 to the lowest bidder, SHI International. Uh, Tyler to talked to us this morning about this. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion is second. Mm -hmm. uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It carries 5-0. Number two, action to where the purchase of seven uh, Chevrolet Caprices the Hardy Chevrolet for the price of $27,994 each for a total cost of $195,958. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries 5 0. Reports from committees and departments none. Uh, public participation on agenda items. No one signed up to do that. Uh, consent agenda action on four consent agenda items. Uh, do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries five up. Under old business, we have uh, action on 2015 07 SUV application by Jessica. More McKenna Farms Therapy Services Incorporated for a special <coughs> use permit on approximately four acres as an addition to the original application of 200608 SUP. Uh, the BOC approved on June 27, 2006, to provide additional parking only for therapeutic services for a special needs population. Properties located in land lots uh, 1116, 1117, District. Three, section 3 on the south side of Due West Road, east of State Route 92, uh, aka Iron Ackworth Highway, adjacent to the east of 3044 Due West Road. This is post one that was tabled from October 27th with the 2015 Board of Commissioners meeting. Uh, Ann and Chris Robinson have reviewed this. The Planning Commission uh, recommended approval for one and one with four stipulations and uh, I see that we did get the parking lot uh, lights amended uh, to read uh, to a maximum of three residential security lights with a maximum height of 25 feet and a maximum light wattage of 100 watts as reviewed and approved by the planning and zoning uh, division. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. 
Motion is second. Uh, any discussion? Oh, hang on a second. We had also talked a little bit earlier about um, a buffer. I know that a couple of us have talked since then. I know Chris Robinson talked about putting the buffer in, and I believe they talked about putting a landscape type buffer in. But we really didn't talk about height, and that's kind of come up this afternoon as far as height is concerned. And I think uh, we had a few calls concerning, and maybe some folks wanted to see about maybe a six foot buffer along that parking lot there, uh, Leland Cypress type. And I just figured I'd mention it now. It kind of came up after this morning's meeting. We are fine with that. It was our understanding that it would be about a six foot buffer that would be put in. Something taller than me, but. I think that's, that's also, <laughs> it's about every other push out there. So. It's also done during planning and review. Yes. Am I correct? And it's in the current Chris Buckman and other meeting. Okay. So they're not here. Okay. Uh, are you wanting to amend the stipulations I'd, to say I'd that? I'd like to see us amend it because y'all are in agreement of it. And Chris said they could do it with plan review, but sometimes plan review is a little different. Well, if we put it inside here, then we know that's going to happen. And that was really a concern that came up during the thing. And then after this morning meeting, we had a couple other people that talked about it. So if you guys are good with it, I'd like to see about us doing that. If you're okay with us adding that. Chris uh, walked in the room now. Chris, would you come to the lab? <laughs> <laughs> there you want somebody to donate $1,000, so <laughs> your name came up. And <laughs> This is on the landscape? Yes. Uh, normally, we look at two inch count for six foot trees. Uh, as long as the front purposes to shield the parking area, uh, it's usually anywhere from a four to 10 foot strip. We, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a tree expert, but I want something that's gonna be there and not have to be maintained, or something that will live in the future. But the sole purpose is to screen the gravel parking. And that is usually handled through the plan review process. But use us a six foot. Mr. Pondell wants it in the He wants to change the stipulation two to read something to the effect of applicant owner agrees to provide a landscape plan to include six foot landscape buffer along parking lot area. The front of the property. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Which is, I know that's what y'all were going to do. Yeah. And that's not an unusual <coughs> right. request for During that planning and zoning meeting, that came up, and then it's come up since then, and it came up after the meeting this morning. So I know you're going to take care of it, but if you're not around tomorrow, that way this gets taken care of. And they're in agreement anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean that in a bad way. This you know I was in there here putting all these young Hawk <laughs> County school children <laughs> over here. <laughs> um, is it the same area that's described here, the front edge area along the west road, including entrance area, or not? That's it the is. Best of word okay, so we just included it behind the words landscape plan to include six foot landscape buffer. It would be fine? Yes. Stipulations. Amended stipulations. Amended stipulations. 
with the uh, amended stipulation. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. With the with the amended stipulation. <laughs> Any other discussion? Um, I'd just like to say um, during this process we we have a process that goes through planning and zoning. I may not look at it the same way that everybody else looks at it, but the way I look at it is when a property owner wants to rezone something or change their property, obviously it's what they want to do. So with that said, I feel like that it's all about the property owners around that property because naturally the property owner wants to change something that's there now and they want to make it different. So when the when you go through the planning and zoning process, the uh, no matter what it is, special use permit or whatever, it's about seeing that we can all work together to allow the property owners around there to also be satisfied because they're the ones that's having to change. Obviously, the property owner wants the change. So I'm glad this process went the way it went and we did what we needed to do. The reason that we tabled it uh, was because Mr. Carmichael was not here and that's in his post and we wanted him to be able to have the opportunity to go out there and take care of that. And I think he appreciated that. Um, and so sometimes things are said and people say things and they kind of make things look like that some of us don't want to see something happen. And I want everybody to know that this entire board has done nothing but to work towards making sure that we can get things happen for this facility, of which we all think is a great facility to have. We're very thankful and blessed to have it in our county. I don't know what the vote would be, but I have no reason to think it would be nothing else but a 5-0 vote. And so I want that known. It never was about anything else. So I appreciate y'all working with us, and I appreciate the board working together to make sure that we do the right thing for the property owner and the surrounding neighbors. So thank you. There's a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries 5 votes. Number two, action to adopt resolution 15 37 confirming the executive session for the purposes of pending litigation, potential litigation, from the Board of Commissioners November 4, 2015 special call meeting. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion, second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries five votes. New business action to adopt resolution 15-38 authorizing the filing of an application with the Georgia Department of Transportation, the United States Department of Transportation, for a grant public transportation assistance under section 5311 of the federal transit laws under chapter 53, title 49 of the United States Code. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries by vote. Number two, action to approve an agreement with U.S. Geological Survey, USGS for installation of a flow and water quality monitoring station downstream of Plan uh, Richland Creek Reservoir. This is in post four. Uh, do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carries 5 0. That's the conclusion of a regular business session, no executive session. Uh, public participation on non agenda item. We have Mr. Uh, Jeff Button uh, talking about economic development. Afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Before we get started, uh, I know you've already extended a veterans uh, welcome, but uh, for any Marines who might be in the room, yeah. happy birthday. <laughs> 240 years today. So, congratulations. <laughs> Being a Navy guy, uh, you're, you're near and dear to my heart. It's always good to have a little brother. <laughs> um, Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, thank you for allowing me to come today. My name is Jeff Hutton. I'm a resident of Post 4. I um, have been a resident for about uh, 11 years now. Um, and I'm here today, I say economic development, but in large part it's about frustration. It's, um, it's 
first it's frustrating to hear a lot of the comments that I'm starting to hear on a routine basis coming from the commissioner. And I really wonder if it's good for the development of this county. Um, whether I'm sitting in here and I'm listening to uh, the comments, or I'm watching it on TV, or I'm watching the numerous videos that are now being posted online and, and social media. Um, if I'm seeing it and I'm just a regular resident of the county, I wonder about businesses that are thinking about coming to the county and their concerns in what they're saying. Um, and it seems like we're after sound bites, it, not necessarily the, the, the actual facts. Um, case in point of, of one that I saw recently, um, something was brought up about the, the amount of taxes that are, are that the uh, that the individuals of Paulding County are taking on amongst themselves. Um, I heard a number that was associated with it, and I'm not going to repeat it because I haven't been able to verify if that was a true number or not. Because I've heard the number go anywhere, plus or minus 20 uh, percent, to be quite honest. Um, but what bothered me was what I heard afterwards come from from one of you who are sitting up here, and that was uh, we need to take some of the burden of the taxes of the people and put it on the businesses, and that's the right thing to do. Well, if you're a business. Why would you want to be coming to this county if you're openly saying we need to put the burden of the taxes onto the businesses? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay? It, it really doesn't. And inevitably, what conversations tend to come around to are things that people are just, I think, tired of hearing about. As a matter of fact, in the same video that I was watching, I heard residents tell the, tell the individual that they were tired of hearing about it. One is they said they had actually left during the middle of a, uh, a board meeting at the break because they were tired of hearing the argument amongst the commissioners. Another gentleman spoke up and he said, I'm tired of hearing about the airport. And he said, I'm politically active. He said, no, I'm tired of hearing about it. You can imagine what my neighbors are and my friends are who aren't politically active. He said, it seems like it's taken away from so many other issues that are facing this county. Mr. Crow, you had a meeting last week very informative meeting in some areas. Um, unfortunately, I think we did end up spending way too much time on the airport. Yes. But there was a lot of things that came out of that meeting that were very, very informative. Um, for me, it was eye-opening to hear the issues of, of, uh, of water um, and, the, and the access that some of our, uh, some of my neighbors, I guess, in post four had for water. Um, so, so it's just concerning to me to, to see the fighting and I want to say the fighting, the infighting that goes on. And I think even more so is when I hear that one of the big items, uh, as we talk about the airport, is that so many things took place behind closed doors. You know, I honestly don't know what happened. If it did happen behind closed doors, I do know that in a lot of business development, that there's a lot of things that have to be done with a non-disclosure taking place. And I fully understand that as a citizen that it makes all the sense in the world to me. Why would a, a business want to have their their thoughts and ideas made public to the world uh, of what's going to happen? Um, but at the same time, if you're asking to have clear and open meetings, then have them. Don't leave here and go make videos elsewhere that then you're going to end up posting that don't become a part of the public record. And the only way people end up seeing them is if they're out there on social media. You know, it just does not make sense to me. Um, I know that I'm, because I can see the countdown over here, I've got 39 <laughs> seconds left. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, I, I don't have a, a pre written speech here. I'm just speaking from my heart on this one. But, uh, gentlemen, I just ask that all of you take a, take a moment, kind of step back, and think about, you know, the oath that you took of what is best for the overall county. Okay. We've got some serious issues that face this county beyond just that airport. The final item, and I know I've got 12 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and ask for a, a continuance right away. One of the things that uh, last week you voted on having an attorney out of Carrollton take a look at whether or not the, the legality uh, motion we get of, of the 139. Second. Uh, so motion and second to give you ten more minutes. Two more minutes. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Sorry. Um, you know, the, the, the legality, whoops, that's my own timer going on. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, the legality of the 139 and the signature that occurred, that occurred on there. But my question is, really, is what is the end state there? Because if that lawyer comes back and says, hey, it wasn't legal. Well, from my understanding, is we now have an intergovernmental contract that was signed on the 31st of October of 2014 that says that the airport authority can now sign contracts for themselves. So if he comes back and says, hey, it wasn't good, is there anything to turn around and stop them the very next day from resubmitting the 139 now that they have the authority based on the inter intergovernmental contract to do it? Again, it just looks like we're, we're chasing things but in the long term, I'm just not sure what the end state is of the commissioners here, other than we're just trying to appease some other folks that I don't even, I'm not even sure are residents of this county. Thank you for your time. Thank you, man. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Before we leave, yes, sir. As post war commissioner, I want to thank you for speaking from your heart. I want to thank you for the spirit you delivered. Your announcement, and I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, at this time, uh, Mr. Carmichael has uh, asked me for uh, just a few minutes to make an announcement. Thank you. Uh, it's great to hear laughter in here, and <laughs> one of the best days lately of the board to me was when we were being dumped at the uh, Public Safety Awareness. Uh, this is a great county, and some people think it's just because it's old country county, a solace and serenity. But it's great because of the people that are in it and the type of friendships that we've made and that your neighbors will come to your assistance if your house or garage or barn burned down. Um, so we're just different in that way. I appreciate so much uh, Ms. Holden uh, and her staff, her board, uh, bringing us the news from this morning. And, you know, they plan, execute, and come up with great results at, at all levels, <coughs> local, state, federal, county. Um, and, you know, they stay ahead of it in, in their planning. I, I did announce a ways back after uh, much dialogue and conversation with Mary Lou, my wife, of 40 years, and my pastor, my family, and some friends that I was going to uh, get in the race for commission chairman. Uh, I, I realize that uh, an early resignation will only account for five meetings. There's not, no more in November. There's only one in December, and two in January and February. So what I'm talking about here uh, from Ms. Holden's uh, education is just five meetings. And again, she spent time with all of us uh, almost individually uh, to bring this information to us. Um, so. She mentioned the uh, separate and apart and the special meetings are what gets so expensive. So with an early resignation, you can replace post one at a regularly scheduled uh, meet, a reg regularly, regularly scheduled meeting in uh, March, the presidential preference primary. And uh, that's a huge, huge cost savings, regardless of the exact dollar amount that it comes out. And you've heard me say on other issues that there's nothing more important that the board does than to handle your money because the county government doesn't have any money. It's, it's all your money. And I think all of us here on the board treat it that way. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, I want more money for the county because I see a lot of ways that uh, we could use it. Uh, I want revenue stream in every way possible. Um, so by, uh, by resigning to save the taxpayers money, it's like a no-brainer. And so it had to be by the 12th, and uh, we're at a formal meeting today, so I'm gonna go on at this time and tender my resignation, which will give us the 30 days required that uh, Deidre talked about before the uh, presidential preference primary. Um, which will be a significant savings to the citizens of Paulding County. So I tender my resignation, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I will stay abreast of all the issues that are going on in the county. And I would enthusiastically support you and my fellow commissioners uh, as you uh, 
make your efforts for to unify and positive decisions for the citizens of Paulding County. Thank you. I've never had this happen before, so uh, uh, is tender on this resignation, do we formally have to accept it, or is that any legal thing we have to do to that end? Does anybody else have any business before this board or want to make a true confession? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hearing none, I'll do a hear a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Well, Mr. Carmichael might get yeah, let's let him make it. I never make those. It's so much fun. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you want to go on the white person? We want you to make the motion. All right. I make a motion that we adjourn. Adjourn second. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you.